everybody. How you doing? I am doing great. Uh, it's like 8 o'clock at night and it's 75 degrees and the dogs and I are just sitting out on the balcony just enjoying the evening. <clears throat> it's really quiet. All the kids that live here at the apartment complex are staying inside because they've got it, um, the playground equipment roped off and the picnic table gazebo area all roped off where they can't get on that and <clears throat> I guess they're just staying inside so it's kind of eerie and eerie quiet <laughs> for this place but it's nice out and I'm enjoying my bedding plants um I am such a sugar addict <laughs> I just think I have to have something sweet every day. And right now, I want something smooth, like banana pudding, or cheesecake, or a Dairy Queen blizzard. I don't know if you have Dairy Queens where you live, but a blizzard is a really thick <clears throat> ice cream concoction that comes in a, a a, a big cup and you can put things in it like different kind of candies, M&Ms and things or my favorite fl flavor of Dairy Queen Blizzard is Harvest Berry Pie. There's bits of pie crust in there and blackberries and strawberries and blueberries. Oh, and man, you know, and vanilla ice cream. <clears throat> Except it's thicker than their ice cream. I don't know what they do to it. But anyway, I love that flavor of blizzard if they don't have that I usually get New York strawberry cheesecake blizzard <clears throat> but anyway that's what I'm craving am I gonna go to Dairy Queen no <laughs> and I don't have any bananas to make banana pudding with um, <clears throat> I've got something stuck in my throat uh, I wanted to tell you about something that my sub Jane, Jane told me Jane lives in Ireland, and she said every evening she, her daughter-in-law, and her mother-in-law send each other five positive things from their day. I thought that was pretty cool. <clears throat> Maybe I'll try that. And I'm going to see if I can get my grandkids to start keeping a journal of things that made them happy during the day. I'll see if they'll do that. <laughs> uh, Otherwise, not much going on here. <clears throat> I'm uh, working on cleaning up my bedroom. Oh my gosh, I have led y'all astray. I have. So many of you said something about me having so much energy and getting so much done. Uh, no. <laughs> the grandkids and I started that bedroom on Saturday they were here they were here Saturday and Sunday they weren't here Monday um, <coughs> uh, it took us forever to get that room done we uh, my granddaughter had to go through her toys today and see what we could get rid of out of the girl toys but no I don't have energy <laughs> from the day I was born I've been tired if I heard it once from my mother, I heard it a gazillion million times that Moses was slow, but he was old. <laughs> I've just always been slow, <clears throat> no energy, and I think a lot of that's my thyroid problem, but <clears throat> uh, my sister can get done in an hour, what would take me two or three days to do, honestly. It takes me forever to get anything done. <clears throat> and between my thyroid and the depression, both of those make you have no energy, no motivation, no get up and go. <sighs> depression makes me have no desire to do anything. <laughs> so, no, I'm not full of energy and getting a lot done. <laughs> There's just a lot to do, and I have a little bit of energy now, but 
I thought, oh my gosh, my sister's going to read the comments and she's going to laugh, be rolling in the floor laughing that her sister has energy. <laughs> no. Uh, Toby, Toby, there's some little kids walking by. <laughs> Maybe they'll stop barking. Toby, 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 Toby. I'm sorry. But anyway, I just thought I'd share that idea of Jane's with you and uh, tell you what I'm craving. <laughs> I, I really, I love cookies, I love, I'm not really big on candy bars, but cookies and ice cream and pie, donuts, oh my gosh, I haven't had a donut in, I can't even tell you when, it's, it's been a long time since I've had a donut. I don't even know if the donut store, you know, we have a, a chain here called the Donut Stop make wonderful donuts. I don't even know if they're open after all of this, you know, business is closing if they aren't essential. Probably not. Um, but anyway, what are you guys doing? What are you doing to keep busy during the day? What kind of dessert do you like? <laughs> My son in Seattle just texted me that he's been making brownies. He found an easy recipe, he said, so he's going to send me his browning recipe. <clears throat> that son loves to bake and cook, and uh, he's doing something like that all the time. And my other son is a really good cook. Um, all of us. My mom always told me that my sister could cook a complete meal by the time she was eight years old. I heard that all my life too. But then my mom wouldn't let me in the kitchen to even learn how to do anything. But anyway, when I had kids, I told them, by the time you're eight, you have to learn how to cook a meal. <laughs> you have to be able to cook a meal of some kind before you're eight years old. <laughs> so I could tell my mother, my kids can cook a meal too. Um, and they did. My kids, I always worked, and so my four kids uh, would help get dinner real often. And... Uh, they were really good in the kitchen, except when it comes to cleaning up. None of us like to clean up. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know anything else. I'm going to go. I just wanted to check in with you guys and say hi and see what's up with you. I hope you're healthy, and I hope you're happy, and I hope you have everything you need, even toilet paper. Okay, guys, I'll talk to you in the morning. Bye.